Hey everyone, so we Lita back again and I wanted to do a video that shows some of the books I've just gotten recently. Um, let's get started. So if you know me, you know that Darkwing Duck was a huge part of my childhood. Like, I literally wish that Darkwing was my dad. And I loved Goslin because she was like a very masculine female character and she was awesome. So when I heard that they were reprinting some of the Disney Afternoon comics in hardback, I was like, well, I've got to get that because I had all the Disney Afternoon or Disney Adventures comics. So this one is a reprinting of several of the stories. They're the original colors. They didn't recolor anything. But it's pretty high quality. I have the original version of this comic behind me. I wore that thing out. I redrew the comic over and over again. Um, so, of course, I just had to get the reprinting of the comic. And from what I can tell, it's pretty authentic to the original. It wasn't edited or anything. I'm not sure how many more of these they're going to put out. But, you know, if you like DuckTales, Gummy Bears, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, Darkwing, Goof Troop, and Bonkers, those comics, you should totally pick them up. So on the back it says, Fantagraphics presents the vivid 80s and 90s adventure comics based on the Disney afternoon animated lineup. For the pages of Disney Adventures magazine and the Gen X sister titles that came, titles come this unforgettable feature-length, Thrillers in Justice, Justice Ducks, Darkwing is called to an action when the Fearsome Five, Negaduck, Megavolt, Liquidator, Bushroot, and Quackerjack successfully take over St. Canard. Then Goofy and Max road trip across the states, far from Max's crush, Roxanne. Destined for a father-son bonding of epic proportions in the original comics adaption of the Goof Troop's cinematic spinoff, A Goofy Movie. Finally, in the five-part Legends of the Chaos God, an entity... Spirit named Solego wreaks havoc across the pages of the ensemble cast. It's up to Baloo, the Rescue Rangers, Scrooge McDuck, Goofy, and Darkwing to stop him. So this book, I believe, it retails for $29.99, but on Amazon it was like $26. So I would definitely recommend picking this up if you loved those comics. I hope they put out more, but we will have to see how the first one sells. So go out and buy one so we can get more. I got another series of kids' graphic novels. Um, this one's about a girl who comes from the sea and ends up befriending another girl and possibly more. I thought the art was interesting. I haven't read it yet, but it looks it looks nice. I'll check it out later. Uh, so put that one next. Uh, Fearless is by Scholastic. Um, she loves like Sentai Ranger, Power Ranger kind of stuff and. It looked kind of interesting. I like the style. It looked like a fun kind of story. So I still have yet to read most of these, but I picked it up based on that alone. The art for this was interesting, and I think this is inspired by the failed cartoon pilot that never came out, the, the one that they wanted to make with the Haunted Mansion, this character here. I'm not sure, but I liked the art. I wish it was a little bigger. This one comes out by IDW. I have to read it. I just thought it looked interesting, so I grabbed it. Everyone is Tulip came out uh, a while ago. Dave Baker, I, I met him at a couple of comic cons and decided to pick it up. It's about a girl who's like a social media influencer and she has to live her life and see how moving and such uh, affects her different, uh, the way that she wants to be versus the way she needs to look on the line. So that looked interesting. Of course, um, I had to complete my pony collection because I didn't have all of them, so I got Fiendship is Magic, finally, that has some of the stories of the bad guys. And I was never able to get the Equestria Girls until now, so I just wanted to be a completist. I think I have everything now. I think I have all of them except the Ponyville Mysteries. And this is the last one I wanted to share, Chunky. Now, not many of you know this, but I actually do the coloring, or at least, like, color flatting for a lot of this book. So, like, there's a whole chapter or two that I did. And it's funny because I can see it in all the other colors that I selected for it. But either way, uh, there was a misprint in the book, and we didn't get our credit in the back of Volume 1. But from what I'm told, it's supposed to be back here in Volume t the second printing. So whenever that happens, I'll show you a more in-depth uh, look at it. Basically, this is a story about a kid who needs to wait, lose weight because his family is like, hey, it's not healthy. And he has this imaginary friend named uh, Chunky, and 
you know, he helps them through his uh, childhood life experiences. Um, just a good all-around book for kids uh, dealing with self-esteem and body issues. And I would totally recommend it. Yehudi has some other cool stuff like Saifu 2 is coming out. I'm also a colorist on that. Um, but yeah, so these are the few books that I got lately. I'll have to check these out and read them. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to let you know, but, you know, just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'm basically cleaning up my office and going through DVDs, working on freelance stuff that I can't talk about, except for, you know, vaguely, and some other cool stuff that when it comes out, I'll totally hook you up. Talk to you later, guys. Bye!